What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 303 Streets. My name is Brandon Lechuga and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to remove your kick panel in your Ford Bronco. Um, this could be for several reasons, whatever you need to do to get to it, whether you're doing speakers. Um, I'm using mine for speakers and to tap into my sub. So I was running wires from the very back over there and running them under here. So depending on what you're trying to do, if you need access or whatever so i'm just going to kind of show you really quick uh so the first step we're going to remove uh this panel right here as you can see it has clips it was just in here you kind of just pull on it i started from this end and worked my way over and that pops out so this is going to be the same for the driver and the passenger the only difference is on the passenger you're not going to be removing these two bolts to remove those two bolts you're going to need a size 10 socket so um, yeah, I removed those two bolts to start and then next step is to pop this plastic piece out of here and to remove it from up here. So there's two clips. Um, it's going to be very hard to see. Uh, you can see where the two clips go in. Two clips that go in here, so you're going to have to pry it out. Um, be careful, you don't want to break it. Take your time and then the actual piece right here clips in in the back. So now that I have uh, the two clips up here removed and then the uh, clip that connects into the vehicle right here. I'll show you when I get it out removed. You can kind of just pry and pull out the rest of the kick panel. So it's a weird angle. I try to angle it to the right a little bit to slide it out. And there it is. So there's where the bolts go. One and two. And as I was saying, there's the clip that you're gonna pop out from the car. So again, be careful with it while you're removing it. Um, you don't wanna break anything. Like I said, you can see it clips in right, oh, it's hard to see right there. So it's gonna clip in right here and this has two clips that you're gonna to need to pull out. And those two clips you can see go in right there. So it's gonna be like that on both sides um, a little bit. You know, it's a really clean look. Um, and in order to gain access to those bolts, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to kind of just uh, pry this off too. So this is covering like that. So I used a flathead screwdriver to get that out. So in my instance, I'm going to be, oh yeah, there's like my speaker wire that I'm running. But anyways, in my case, I'm gonna be removing this speaker. So the next thing I'm gonna need is, I'm pretty sure, let me move this so it doesn't get lost, was a seven millimeter, yes, seven millimeter uh, socket. So there's gonna be three bolts to remove, one down here, one up here, and then one around in the back. Again, sorry about the lighting. So it's gonna be right back here, around that height, yeah, so around back. So there's going to be three seven millimeter bolts that need to be removed and that should get the speaker out. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I will show you what it looks like. All right. So here's what the factory speakers sound like. And then I'll show you what it sounds like with the new ones. As you can tell, the new speakers up here have been replaced and they sound pretty good. So we'll see what it sounds like down here once we get it replaced. All right, so here's the new speaker, just one of them. So, all right, as you can see, there's the speaker. Screw one, two, and three. So as you can see, I have little wire taps on mine. That's for my subwoofer. Um, I actually bought this nifty little kit that plugs directly into the current speakers so I don't have to cut the wires or anything like that. Um, this will be in the link. Everything I use will be in the link of my bio or in the link of the comments for this. Um, so to remove this, you just have to press this little tab up here, press it, and it should just kind of slide out. So I got it loose. Again, one-handed, this is difficult. If you have two, it'll be much 
You're be way better off. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna disconnect this. And then uh, once I get that, I'll show you the next steps. All right, so here's what the speakers look like side by side. I went with the JBL. Again, these will be in the description in the video. Um, so yeah, everything being put in this car is gonna be JBL. Um, the two or the four four inches and then the two six and a half. So as you can see, cheap little cone. The rubber is actually pretty nice on this one. But the rubber is really nice on this. Um, it's a little, looks like a tweeter on the front. Uh, and the magnet on the back is definitely a lot different. Um, the cone, as you can hear, it's like just a plastic. This one, it's also, this one's like a foam. So uh, this being foam is gonna have a lot more durability. It won't crack when the weather gets cold where in the cold, this can crack because, you know, when it's blasting and it's cold outside, plastic can crack. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna wire this up and I'm gonna show you exactly how to put this in. There are some pieces that I need. Oh, and here they are. So these rings are gonna have to go on to place it in. As you can see again, it's got three screw holes and this obviously isn't as wide. So that's what these rings are. And I'll show you those once I get them out of the package. All right, so as I was saying, the two different rings, um, so this one doesn't work with the Bronco. This uh, plastic one does. So this is the ring that if you are installing into your Ford Bronco, um, this is the ring you're gonna need that comes with the kit that I bought. Um, so I'll kind of just show you really quick. I was trying to be in the light so you could see. Um, here we go. So, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because it's kind of tucked back. As you can see though, it's tucked back, but all these line up. So this is gonna be the ring that you need to use to install your speaker. Um, that being said, here it is installed. So I'm gonna test fit it and see if it works. And then I'm also gonna test it to see if the wire harness that I bought works. This does clip into that. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's going to work for sure. So I'm going to clip it in again, see if it works, test it, and then test fit it, and then go from there. So, uh, one second as I do that. Okay. So I tested out, it works. So if you don't know how to plug it in, and again, I'm going to put the link in the bio, like what exactly that connector was to make sure it works. I actually bought this before these were even recommended for Bronco and they might not even be recommended for Bronco yet. But that being said, um, I'm going to show you how to wire it up. The great part is on the back, it shows the red wire and the black wire. So you can obviously see what goes to what. And on this speaker, you can see the wires are red and black. So obviously the red goes to the red on the left. The black goes to the red and black on the right. So yeah, um, it works. I'm gonna screw it in. I might have to redo the clips on the back to make sure it holds proper, but um, cause it's a little bit too tight of a squeeze to fit it in there. So I'm gonna try to adjust some things and see if I can make it work. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll get back to you. All right, so I have it in. I ended up doing something a little bit different. So I use this ring. Oh, excuse me. So I still use this ring. <laughs> But I use the three holes, the three small ones, two and three with the smaller screws and just screwed in, I don't know where my other speaker is. <laughs> oh, here it is. I uh, just screwed it in with those. So um, unfortunately, I guess there is four locations. So I should probably put in that last screw. I don't recall if I put in all four, I'll have to look but I use those holes instead. Obviously this goes behind, but I'm just kind of showing you what holes I used. So here's what it looks like installed. Hopefully I can get this light in there and you can kind of see. So this is where I actually need to add the other screw right there, which I'll do. Everything's plugged in and it works. So I'll show you what it sounds like here in a minute. So I used the three stock screws to put this speaker back in. So I'm going to uh, put a screw in there and then we'll play it to see if you can tell any difference. 
So I actually might not put um, that away, or I might not put everything back together, mainly just because I need to hook up my subwoofer. So yeah, this is pretty much the install. Uh, what you're gonna do now is just put everything back together the way you took it apart. Um, and again, it's easiest to kind of scoop this panel. Um, start from over here at an angle, kind of like scoop it in and then push it down back onto the screws. As you can see right there's my speaker wire that I'm gonna use to uh, tap in. I was informed, again, you might not care. <laughs> this is really the end of the video. But if you are looking at doing a subwoofer in your car, they said to tap into your two lower fronts. For some reason, I guess it puts out a little bit better sound. And for me, just the easiest way to make sure I didn't mess anything up with splicing into these wires was I ran wire from over there, crossed to right here, as you can see, to where I can put in my speakers to my subwoofer. And then as you can see, the two little taps right there to tap in and feed it back to my sub that's gonna go under my seat. So yeah, this is the install and this is the product that you will need to do your front lowers. Great product, it worked. Um, and again, I actually bought this a long time ago, probably the beginning of 2022 or even the end of 2021. So this does work with the Bronco and that is nice. So. Yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you want to see how to do anything on the Bronco, uh, check out my videos. I've actually done a lot to it. Um, from the side, it doesn't look like a lot, but I just added a steel bumper. I have rock lights underneath. Um, we have everything done at the front. I'm going to do another walk around of the vehicle to where how it looks now versus when I, I got it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. Again, it's a pretty easy process tear everything apart as you can see right there and again it's going to be easier on the passenger side do exactly what you did over here except for the foot uh rest obviously the other side doesn't have one uh, once you do that you're just going to plug in your wire harness like i did right there uh, plug it in you'll be good to go connect the positive to the positive negative to the negative uh, once you get the speaker removed which is really easy that's only held in with three screws and then, um, yeah, you'll be good to go. Plug everything back in the way you tore it apart and then put everything back together the way you tore it apart um, and you should be good. So thank you for watching 303 Streets. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for a lot more videos to come. Like I said, if there's anything you want to know in particular on the Bronco, um, check out my channel. Uh, I've done a lot. Uh, one of the main things that I really like is actually my safe. So if you want to see how to add some accessories, um, yeah, like I said, check out the channel. Thank you for watching 303 Streets and have a good day.